welcome back to the channel everyone this is a classic series called mdv my daily vlog and i'm just showing you what i eat what i do how i feel everything let's see what happens i don't know so this video is basically a short version of how i create my stop motion videos if you want to see a more detailed extended edition let me know in the comments down below i'll sort you out but yeah so in a nutshell i've got to set up this set but I'm not too bothered, so I use my wife's makeup table most of the time. But obviously there are ways to create miniature sets. Very cool. But yeah. And then I've got to set up which characters I'm using. So that can be Nanamin. That could be Gojo. That could be Venom, Spider-Man. Anyone I want. It's crazy. And yeah. And a little technical aspect. I've got to sort out the frames per second. So this could be 12 frames. Could be 18 frames. Maybe one day I'll run it up 24 frames. But for now, we do about 12. 12 is like a standard one, but 18. These days, I'm trying to do about 14 to 18. Just a bit more spicy that way, you know? So the logic is the more frames you have, the more smooth animation, but it's all about what effect you're going for, you know? Realism, I guess you'd have 24 frames, but the Hollywood ones, they use 24. They're just crazy. But yeah, so when I film, I plan my shots, but this is the short version of this episode. So if you want an extended version of this tutorial, let me know in the comments. I'll sort you out. But for now, let's move on. So to keep your figures standing, you can use blue tack, maybe sellotape if you want, or if you've got a clamp, use a clamp, but what can you do? But yeah, so once everything is filmed, I edit on Premiere Pro, add some sound effects, add some cuts every now and then, bada boom bada bing, visual effects, it looks very nice. And yeah, video's done. Have a look. <笑>ストップ。こちらは私が片付けます。<笑> 